Shea, and it's March 23rd, 2023, and I'm out here reflecting on life, reflecting on spirituality, and understanding the concept we call vibration, frequency. I was looking at a chart today that showed the different uh, levels of vibration. You had uh, fear, shame, and guilt uh, down below, and then you had courage, love, you have peace, you have joy, you have enlightenment at the top, and I thought about those, and I was like, you know, a lot of times in our life, we are faced with situations where someone's talking to you, or something's happening, or there are uh, situations that are developing where the overall frequency, the overall vibration is one of fear, doubt, guilt, and then you can take the vibration of reason, rationality, peace, love, calmness, and courage to balance out that vibration so that you're on or you remain on the right track. And so I found that very, very illuminating was first introduced to it many, many years ago when I was reading David Hawking's book, uh, Power Versus Force. I, I believe I read that book in 2007, and then sometime last year or late uh, 2021, I saw a video, uh, I think it's called Universe uh, Inside You or something like that, I think that's the channel, where they were showing this, this uh, frequency chart, this vibration chart, and so Peace had a rating of about 600, and that is not an arbitrary number, that's the actual vibrational frequency of peace, right? And so I thought that was very interesting how these different emotions that we can feel have a, a resonance, it has a strength to it, right? And where some of the lower frequencies can pull away from the higher frequencies within a person. And so, one of the things that I try to keep in mind in my daily process is those frequencies. Because what does everybody say? It's all about vibration and frequency, right? And I actually believe that 100%. And so, it's like if that's so important, then know your frequencies. And so, it's like, okay, um, I may not remember the numerical value of those frequencies. I may not always remember that peace is, is, is a vibration level 600, right? Right? We don't resonate, you know, that you resonate at a level of 600. I may not always remember that, right? But I can remember that peace is way up there. And that if I can tap into love and joy and peace and to some level enlightenment, then I am making progress in my spiritual journey. Just as a final note, there are a number of people that have great information on these topics. My favorite one is Dr. B. Serious. Dr. B. Serious, I watched his, uh, I watched many of his uh, discussions online, and I really like the one he uh, recently did on the Forbidden Knowledge channel, where he was, um, he was talking with, I believe, a guy named Roderick. And it was, it's a three hour uh, uh, video, but it was extremely interesting. And many of the things that Dr. B. Sirius uh, was talking about uh, related directly to vibration and frequency and how we can change some of the things within us to improve the trajectory of our lives and our spiritual journey. So I hope all of this information was valuable to you. And if you have any questions, uh, please uh, drop a comment. I'll be happy to answer as best I can. I hope your week continues to go well, your month goes well, your year goes well, and you have an absolutely fabulous lifetime.